Okay, so this is the prophet Isaiah. This is the final prophet that we are going to learn about. And we saved Isaiah as the very last prophet because Isaiah is frequently referred to as the fifth gospel. So even though he, he, he is pre preaching and prophesying before the fall of Jerusalem, we've saved him for the very last because there's a lot of stuff about Jesus in the book of Isaiah. Now, to start off though, God looked out over Israel and Judah, and he saw their sin, and he saw the people bowing to idols in his temple, and he saw the lies and the schemes, and he saw the murders, and he decided it was time to act. So God called Isaiah to heaven in a vision. So Isaiah looked around in wonder and saw God, the creator of the universe, sat on his throne, and the edge of his robe filled the temple. And around him flew cherubim, and they had three sets of wings. With the first set of wings, I showed them. let me do one thing. With the first set of wings, they covered their eyes, the second set of wings covered their body, and the third pair of wings they flew with. And they cried out with a loud voice, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, early in the morning the sun shall rise to thee. That hymn has basis in the book of Isaiah. And as they spoke, the ground shook and smoke filled the room. And Isaiah heard all of this and he collapsed to the floor and he threw his hands over himself and he said, Woe is me, I am as good as dead. I am a sinner and I live in a land of sinners and I have seen God. And then a cherub flew to Isaiah and touched Isaiah's mouth with a burning coal from the altar. Mommy. This has touched your lips and burned away your sin. Your sin has been paid for by God. Just like someday, several hundred Mommy. years in the future, Jesus would come and pay for our sins. There's yes, a Man Odyssey episode like that. There is? Yeah. Oh, we'll have to listen to it it's later. It's one of the Truth Chronicles. Ah, oh, we'll have to listen to it later. Well, it has the burning lip thing. Ah. Oh. And then it talks about uh, Connie happy, trying to sing. It talks a little longer about that. Okay, okay. okay. This is and then God spoke and he said in a loud voice and said, Whom shall I send? Who will speak my message? And Isaiah leaped to his feet and said, Send me! Send me! And God looked down on Isaiah and he said, You will tell them what is going to happen, but they will not listen. Tell them anyways. Tell them of the coming punishment and the hope that comes after. So Isaiah woke up with a mention, and he went to King Ahaz and warned him of God's plans. Ask God for a sign, Isaiah said. He wants you to know this is true. Oh no, I won't ask God for a sign. I am not that fool. I'll believe him, Ahaz said, shaking his head. Then God will give you a sign. A virgin will have a son, and he will be called Emmanuel, Counselor. And we have an entire song written by Handel called Handel's Messiah. And he goes through and he lists out all of the songs that Isaiah wrote down that God will be made, that Jesus will be made. He will create everlasting peace and the government will be on his shoulders. Isaiah happily proclaimed and he left the throne room. Yes, sir. Oh, that that's dog. exciting. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. That is exciting. It's no, my no, no. four minutes. Four, okay. We don't need to count up the timer. Okay, how long but it's mom, if you see this out, how many, if you, you see You don't need to give me a count of how many minutes it's been. All right, so continuing on. Now, God sent Isaiah all over to warn of the coming judgment. He went to the Moabites and the Philistines and the Syrians and told them they will be brought down and God will destroy the Cushites and the Egyptians will have a terrible drought. Isaiah continued his terrible warnings. Judah, 
Beware, your idolatry will destroy you. Babylon will come in and defeat you, but God will send a punishment to Babylon. Cyrus of Persia will conquer them. Seventy years after they have conquered you, Cyrus will send you home. And as we learned when we learned about Ezra and Nehemiah, that prophecy came true. So 70 years before Cyrus came in and conquered them, Isaiah named exactly the man who would, who would come in and, and defeat Babylon. And that's part of why many people thought that Isaiah had been written much later than it was until we found the Dead Sea Scrolls, which showed it was written much earlier than everyone started to say. Now, not all Isaiah had to say was sad. God had a plan in place to rescue everyone. God had been working on it for a long time, and now he was ready to reveal it to everyone. As Isaiah warned of the coming destruction, he also spoke of a promised salvation. A king was coming, grander and holier than David. He will be born to a virgin in the same town David was from. He would be of David's family line. And God would send a prophet to ready the people for this new king. A voice will cry out in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way of the Lord. And so John the Baptist would come, and before Jesus came, he would warn everyone to turn back to God. And then Jesus would come, and he would heal the blind and free the oppressed. He will teach the people, and they would not understand. So there's all sorts of amazing things that Jesus did. He healed the blind. He taught people. But in the end, people were, were not ready to trust Jesus. And so they put him on trial, and he will be silent before his judges and not answer them. He will be spat at and struck, but he will not answer And he will pay for our sins, and there will be nothing left to do. And he will die and be buried in a tomb not his own. He will rule and judge us and save us from our sins if we believe in him. He will be called Wonderful Counselor, Almighty God, and Prince of Peace. Because in the end, that... It's the most important thing that Isaiah is about. All of this other stuff it, it is important, but it's not the most important thing. When it all comes down to it, the most important thing is that we knew, and that the Jews knew, somebody was coming who was going to rescue them. And the, the bad news for them is they had to wait. They had to wait for hundred years. Whoa. That Whoa. is a long time to wait for something. Wow. So they're going to have to wait for 400 years and yeah. that will be our next lesson. Why next lesson? they had to wait. Next lesson? Next lesson! Why not today? Well because it's not ready. And Done. we're going to finish learning about Isaiah. We're going to talk about some questions and read the Bible some more. So can you stop the video now?